Walkthroughs are a specific type of guide that can be created in Pendo. Walkthroughs allow you to string together several guides in a defined sequence. This allows you to walk through a specific application task start to finish and show users how to complete it. Walkthroughs are especially helpful for user onboarding, where they allow you to simply instruct new users how to accomplish commonly used tasks in your application. This video will show you how to quickly create and deploy a walkthrough in your application with Pendo. For this example, we are using Spring Engage, a marketing automation tool for the hotel industry. The walkthrough will show users how to set up an email provider for outbound campaigns. We will begin by creating a new guide. Pendo's designer allows you to visually design guides within the context of your UI. After selecting a new walkthrough, we can specify a name for the walkthrough and set options for who should see the walkthrough and when it should launch. Once we save the overall guide definitions, we can begin to add steps to the guide. The first step will be a lightbox. Our lightbox will explain the purpose of the guide and let the user know what they will learn how to do if they follow the tutorial. As with individual guides, each step in the walkthrough can be styled using the WYSIWYG editor, a guide template, or by directly customizing the HTML and CSS markup. Now we will add additional steps to the walkthrough. After the initial announcement, we will use tooltips to highlight the specific elements in the interface that the user should select. Notice that you now see a red rectangle that follows the cursor around the interface. The Pendo Designer is automatically picking up every CSS element in the page, allowing us to select the one we want to attach to. In this case, we will select the Settings option. Once the item is selected, we can add content to the tooltip. Again, you can directly edit the tooltip content in the interface or further customize the HTML source. Because we want the user to actually complete the task while going through the walkthrough, we will have the walkthrough advance only when the user actually clicks the settings option. This is the default behavior for tooltip steps but you can also have the guide advance on hover actions or insert a button into the tooltip. For our next step, we will need to navigate the user to a new page. To do this, we simply move to that page in the Pendo Designer and select to add our next step. We will use a tooltip for this step as well. In this case, we will prompt the user to navigate through to the site settings page. For the final step, we will also use a tooltip on the site settings page. Although the item we're tagging is on the lower half of the page, the guide will automatically scroll to the element when it's activated. Since we know the page is going to scroll down to see the guide, we'll position the tooltip on the top of the element. For this final step, we'll add a button to the guide that allows the user to dismiss it. The button option will either advance the guide or automatically dismiss it when the button is rendered on the last step of the walkthrough. Now, when we go to the Spring Engage site as a new user, I am prompted to follow the steps and set up my email provider. As you can see, walkthroughs provide a powerful training tool that simply and easily shows your users how to complete tasks in your application. For more information or additional help on this feature, please check out our knowledge base at support.pendo.io.